Another terrible effect of the Harris migrant invasion, and she's the one that wanted it more than Biden. Biden didn't know what the hell was happening. He said, oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Is that it is driving housing costs through the roof. You know that, right? You're affected by that. Fewer than 5 million new houses were built in the last three years, yet Kamala Harris has imported 21 million illegal aliens who are now disproportionately occupying lower-income rental properties. So think of it. We built 5,000 units, 5 million units. We built — think of this. They started in a little community where they did 5,000. That was quite nice. Then they go to 5 million units, but we have 21 million people came in. None of them are going to be paying a lot of rent, I can tell you that. Because a lot of those people are people that shouldn't be here. Some should, but a lot of them are people that shouldn't be here. As just one example, a vivid one, look at the explosion in rent in Springfield, Ohio, where Kamala has resettled the 20,000 Haitians. There's a chart up here someplace. I don't like that as much as the chart that I had in Butler, PA. That was nothing. That was my favorite chart. Now, that was my favorite chart. We still have that. That was a great, beautiful chart. The the red, the yellow, right? And the blue. That was my all-time — that is going to be my all-time favorite chart. I don't care what chart I look at over the years. I will sleep with that chart every single night. But look at — look at the numbers and look at the way those lines are. They're totally out of control. When I return to the White House, we'll we will require that all companies receiving federal housing subsidies to verify citizenship. We're going to verify citizenship. We're going to make sure that it's a legal residency. And as a condition of their rental agreements, they're going to have to do all of it. Taxpayers will not subsidize apartment rentals for illegal aliens, and we will not permit illegals to drive up the cost for Americans in need. In addition, I will ban all mortgages for illegal aliens. You can't have it. Now, in California, under Gavin Newsom, you know, they want to give illegals mortgages. They want all illegals. How about all illegals get a mortgage? You don't get any mortgage, they do. This is the first part of my plan to restore housing affordability in America. Kamala Harris is killing the American dream, but with your vote this November, it's going to be the most important election ever in the history of our country. We are going to bring back the American dream bigger, better, and stronger than ever before. We're going to bring it back. Under my leadership, we had the greatest economy in the history of the world. Before the pandemic, we raised real median household income by $7,684, a record per family. We achieved the lowest Hispanic American unemployment rate and the lowest Hispanic American poverty rate in the history of our country. And Hispanic American household wealth and home ownership reached the highest level ever recorded. Thank you very much. I like you. But now Arizonans are experiencing an affordability crisis. And this is a crisis of historic proportions. Do you agree? You know that. You know what's going on in this area in particular. Today, not a single major city in Arizona is considered affordable. Not one. When I was president, nearly two-thirds of the homes in Phoenix were considered affordable for families making the median income. Think of it, two-thirds, and now it's none. Today, the number of homes that are affordable for those middle-class families is down to a number that you don't even want to hear. It's almost like nothing. Here are the other pillars of my plan to end this nightmare and help millions of Arizona families afford the house of your dreams. We will rapidly reduce inflation by slashing energy costs. 
We're going to slash energy costs, taxes, and we are going to slash regulations. By quickly defeating inflation, we will in turn bring interest rates down very fast. When I was president, interest rates were hovering around 2%. You got a mortgage. Oh, look at that guy, the big guy. Stand up. Look at his shoulders on him. You got a mortgage at around 2%. That's right, you. How many people have a Who's Who else looks like that? Nobody going to mess with him, right? <laughs> Nobody going to mess with that guy. But he was happy when I said, the low, you got a good mortgage. I can see a lot of other people did. Today, the mortgage rates are at 10%, 11%, 12%. You can't get the money. We're going to bring it down very fast. We're going to bring energy down. We will drive down the rates so you will be able to pay 2% again, and we will be able to finance or refinance your homes drastically at much lower costs. You do a refinancing or a financing if you're looking. This step alone will save Arizona families between $800 and $1,000 per month on their mortgage for a typical home. Under comrade Kamala Harris, your electricity bills here in Arizona rose an estimated almost 100 percent. It's the largest increase anywhere in the country. Did you know that? Congratulations. You're number one in the — oh, that's right. That's not good. No, congratulations. You're number one in the country for the increase in your electric bills. What the hell is going on?